Hello everybody and welcome back. Well in the previous uh, Ubuntu for Dummies 2013 I showed you how to download the particular version of Ubuntu Linux if you wanted to get started uh, if you are completely new to the operating system known as Ubuntu. So for this tutorial before you actually uh, install there is one very very important thing that you need to do. And the reason why it is super important is that if you forget to do this, so don't do it, and you install, you are going to run into problems. Uh, and you're going to have to start all over again. And if that happens and you didn't know about this, uh, you might say, gee, I downloaded this on the device of, you know, Toss Today and, uh, you know, Linux sucks and this guy doesn't know what he's talking about and all that fun stuff. So... I am uh, giving you fair warning now, uh, do not install unless you do this one thing. And I will show you right now. Okay, so we uh, downloaded, in the previous video, we downloaded the Ubuntu 12.04.2 LTS, also known as Precise Pangolin. LTS means long-term support. These type of Linux distributions tend to be uh, a little bit more stable, meaning you will have less problems after installing and updating. We need to check and see if the downloaded file, your operating system that you download, we need to see if it is corrupted. If it is corrupted, do not install it. Let me rephrase that. Don't install if the file is corrupted. You will run into problems it's still possible that it may install, but just don't do it. Trust me on this. So how do we know if the downloaded file is corrupted? Well, you need to check something called an MD5. It's basically a code, an algorithm. It's not that important in terms of its definition. Uh, just, just keep in mind that it is a code that you need to check, and it has to match the downloaded file. So. I am here at releases.ubuntu.com uh, forward slash precise. So I'm going to click something called MD5 sums. Now you may recall in the previous video we downloaded the Ubuntu 12.04.2. Uh, is that yes, 12.04.2 desktop i386.iso. Here is the code that I'm looking for right here. Now this code has to match the code in the downloaded file. So how do you do that? Well, in Windows 7, you can download a um, free piece of software called WinMD5 Free. So here is the code here. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste that right here for now. I need to browse to where I downloaded Ubuntu 12.04. In this case, it's on my desktop. Highlight that. Open. And it says here, computing. So we're going to wait here about a minute, maybe less, and see what it looks like. By the way, all uh, operating system that you download should have an MD5 code to let you know if the downloaded file is corrupted or not. If it is corrupted, yes, you will have to delete it and re and re-download it again. It's it's a bit annoying, I understand, but this is super important so you don't, you know, wind up, you know, forgetting to do this, install it, and then you run into all sorts of problems and you have to start all over again anyway. So it's best to check this first. You know, it's just a few extra minutes involved with this, and it's really not that difficult. So as you see here, it's about halfway done. So I'm going to let this finish, and then hopefully what I downloaded is not corrupted. I think I checked this before it matches. If it doesn't match, yep, I'm going to have to delete this and download it again. But hopefully I think I did check this version before, and it does match. So it's almost done here. And when it's done, I'm just going to click this button here called Verify. If it matches, then we are good to go to proceed with the actual installation of Ubuntu 12.04.2. So let's see what we have here. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm going to click verify, cross your fingers. Hey, it matches. This is exactly what I want to see. If it didn't match, that means something happened in the download. I have to delete the download and retry it again. But in this situation, I would be ready to install either right now or you know whenever you feel like you're ready to install your new operating system. Uh, I think I'll leave this part of the series, of the tutorial series, like this. I will end it here. I will upload this. And the next part will go into the actual uh, installation of Ubuntu 12.4.2.